President Muhammad Buhari has met with the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, to discuss the rising incidence of rape in the country. Speaking to State House correspondents after a closed down meeting, Adamu said he updated the President on sexual and gender based violence across the country. He said the meeting also discussed efforts of the police to address the menace. Adamu urged all Nigerians to speak up against cases of rape or any form of molestation, as the force would continue to deal decisively with such cases promptly. It has come to the public view now that um, because of the COVID-19 restriction, um, the, we have surge in the cases of uh, rape and gender-based violence. Um, these are cases that are now coming up, but we want to let members of the public know that um, cases of rape and gender-based violence have been there, and the law enforcement uh, agents have been dealing with these uh, cases. In most cases, Members of the public are not aware of the actions that law enforcement agencies have been taking. I will call on every Nigerian that has or comes across any victim of sexual offenses, of rape, or gender-based violence to quickly report to law enforcement uh, agents because keeping it without reporting it will give um, room for the perpetrators to continue to commit the offenses. It is a very wicked offense. It is a very serious offense. It is very wicked of an individual to engage in rape or defilement. And there are a lot of causes. Some are doing it for ritual reasons, for ritual purposes. Some are doing it because the, the, the sit within the family and they see the victims and they feel the urge to go into it and do it. But such people should not be allowed to go scot-free. From now onward, partnership, national partnership with every stakeholder is what we are going into now. And not only within the country, but within the sub-region, we have to partner with organizations that are involved in this. We know we've been working seriously with UNODC on this and other um, civil society organizations. So just to tell you that government is doing something seriously to curtail this type of offense.